Hi everybody, welcome to this new update on, on Monday of the Forex market, Monday, Tuesday, in real, uh, talking about some trades starting on Monday coming from forecast from the previous week that I have to say it. Um, I received some emails with some questions about how to hedge uh, from my last video some of you were talking about CAD and I explained that uh, you cannot go random to pick up the currencies in your trading but you must have a method and a vision of the markets in order to understand what currencies you should trade uh, actually let me show you there is this setup that is going on from a monthly vision uh, that already was expressing uh, last week on which we can see that New Zealand dollar let me always do this trick in order to show you better as a very negative situation is very weak and in this case I will show a different a different uh, setup uh, on which we do a kind of hedging where we trade euro and dollar both in buy against in this case the weakest currency which is New Zealand dollar from uh, the very first uh, statement that I can show you I already made some trades and you can see there is a swap condition so uh, swing trading that I started on Monday and um, uh, as you can see I took already some profit and this is the balance curve and uh, and now I'm going to also close these trades <coughs> in order to show you the final balance that you can do in a couple of days by simply having a methodology so markets were expressing as I told you the weakness of the New Zealand dollar and uh, an obvious strength both in US dollar and in euro as you can see these values are very huge both in positive and in negative therefore the two currency pairs as I was also explaining to some of you that we should have taken in this case were euro New Zealand dollar in buy and so this is what I got I got also other trades but just to show you and I'm going to 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 visualize at the end what it what it can be the the profit that you can take from this kind of analysis let me show you better and uh, the New Zealand dollar US dollar so what do we have here we see also that in a lower time frame we are in a five minute charts New Zealand dollar is weak and dollar and euro are strong and um, so I decided to take some profit not to leave my money in the market or to my broker and just leave one uh, trade per currency pair so we have New Zealand dollar of course in sell because New Zealand dollar weak US dollar strong brings a sell condition and the uh, euro New Zealand dollar were a strong and you can see there are there is a perfect correlation at this moment uh, euro is strong so buying euro and selling New Zealand dollar okay this condition that can go further whatever but for me it's like already realizing profit enough uh, and with all these movements of the markets quite uh, sudden we don't expect to do that much so let's close my trades okay and let's do a final account balance so a statement so we can then analyze it together Oh, sorry. Let me put another number. We 
by the end. Okay. So we were in this condition, and as you can see, the only currencies that I decided to trade since Monday were New Zealand dollar and US dollar in sell and Euro against New Zealand dollar in buy. This is a perfect hedging combination. Basically New, Z <coughs> New Zealand dollar stays in the middle and is traded against the two currency pairs that show some uh, some strength if New Zealand dollar is weak or some weakness in the opposite case if New Zealand dollar was strong. In this case we have New Zealand dollar weak and uh, the only solution was to decide what other currencies could have been traded. Pardon, here I have also my real account that I want to stop. Okay. And um, As we can see, this, this statement brought me already this profit. Okay. Then I let other two trades to go further. And so the final result, and that can be fine for the whole week, because if you have enough then you can do other things or you can decide that in this moment you don't want to wait for a retracement phase or for a sideways and you don't know what big hands will do in the next days therefore you keep a kind of huge profit compared to the capital that is invested and to the time that you are running with your trades especially because you have a negative swap in this case and can be as we are at the end of the month almost in this week we are at the end of the month some retracements and huge retracements in the opposite direction can happen so if you already made your part as we are little we are not big investors big hedge funds or institutions that can manipulate the market we decide to take the minimum amount of trades and in the minimum time with the maximum profit that can be done coherently so things that I've been asked is that how to read the chart and how to understand what expect and why to trade specific currency pairs instead of others well if you had no vision of the market then you have to go random to each one of these ones and find which one are perfectly correlated in order to create a hedging strategy but if you go on a whole vision of the market which is not nine charts but these nine charts is because it's the nine major time frames that you can get from a platform like MetaTrader so one minute five minutes fifteen half an hour one hour four hours day week month and then you analyze how the currencies are behaving towards this um, situation and you see if there are correlations for example let's take a look here and we see that at one minute we're starting to have this oscillation where New Zealand dollar is starting to behave sometimes strong and euro and dollar as you see negative so weak in this case is the point to turn off the trades and to take the profit Okay, it could be that there is also more uh, the continuation of a trend, but we honest, I honestly uh, rely on 
the numbers and when I have realized something like this in very few hours or days with this kind of move for me it's enough by my experience the moment you are enough with yourself and you realize this profit that you can see is the same that is stated here so is the same new brand new account that every week I do for my purposes and for my examples along with my personal trading which is private as should be yours uh, then you see that with only eight currency pair at eight currencies sorry eight currencies you have the vision of the whole market then when you see New Zealand dollar dollar and euro currency pairs are already made by definition so it's not that difficult you know that New Zealand dollar US dollar comes this way and you know that New Zealand dollar is paired with euro in the shape of euro New Zealand dollar so that's why you, one you sell and the other you buy but it's very simple and it's very effective because I don't have to struggle reading all the charts I have only the maximum exposition of time frames that I want to decide to analyze and then of course I can open only the charts that I'm interested in so Euro New Zealand Dollar and New Zealand Dollar US Dollar in this case okay the strategy is very simple we don't need too much we need just to understand if this uh, behavior is confirmed or if there are stops that are suggesting it's time to close the trade but in the long term so let's say the monthly these are huge values compared for example to Japanese yen which is 200 compared to 1000 or OZ which is 700 or roughly or GBP Swiss franc or CAD which are not very interesting at least in this month so just to end up and of course I always recommend you to take a look watch to my previous videos both the examples and the tutorials on how to use and how to apply hedging strategy which is not only applying something it's also analyzing something first and then applying according to the rules that I explain in the many webinars that you can find on my channel and and then go coherently with the simple equation that provides you the hedging okay so this is just a f um, little update as I was promising I hope that this clarifies even more the sim simplicity of operativity and workflow that you require when you analyze the markets this way and uh, I, st I wanted to do this at the beginning because this week I will be quite busy and so just to leave a mark also for, for this week and for you to think about and to have some more examples to rely on and I thank you for watching subscribing and supporting my work and for any questions or whatever as usual via mail by comments or via Skype probably this week I will be mm, less present than normal but I will try to do my best okay so thanks and have a good evening and a good week in this case to go Okay, bye.